Hey, what's up, everybody? Mark here. Today, I want to say, first of all, thank you for buying my Words of Faith uh, design set here. I want to take just a minute in this video to show you how to do a couple things if you want to make some changes to this design. So, for example, some of you may choose to actually not use the base at all and just take this piece and hang it on the wall or do something else with it, maybe put it with another piece of wood or what have you. That is a great idea. All you need to do is go into your design program, and I'll show you how to do this today, and just simply cut off these tabs right here so that there's no tabs there, and then you can resize this to whatever size you want for your application. So that's one thing I'm gonna show you how to do. There's another thing. If you want to use a different kind of material, or more specifically, a different thickness than what I listed in the description, that's not a problem either. The adjustments are really pretty easy. So there's two things you'll need to do. If you decide to use a thinner material for this piece and for the base, you'll need to first, you'll need to shorten the tabs on the bottom of this so that the, the tabs don't stick out the bottom of the base if the base is thinner. I'll show you how to shorten the tabs. Then the other thing is if you end up using a thinner material, you don't want this to just fall all over inside that slot there. So if you use a thinner material for this, you're gonna not touch this at all and we're simply going to edit the width of these slots, not anything else, just the width, because that's all you'll need to do to make this fit properly. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in today's video, so stick around, and you'll be really happy that you did. All right, so I'm gonna show you three different things that I mentioned in the intro there, and I'm using Adobe Illustrator. If you're using something else, there should be a similar uh, feature or function in your chosen design application, so hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is if you want to just simply cut these words out of any material you want, make it as big or as small as you want, and you don't wanna use the bases. Super easy. All you gotta do is cut off the bottom tabs here. Now, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it because uh, knowing how to do both of these might help you in the future with some other projects you have. So I'm gonna zoom really far into this particular tab. So the first thing, the first way you could do it is to use the direct selection tool, which is right here. And when you click on the item, you're gonna see all these different nodes that make up this particular shape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one right here by clicking on it, and I'm gonna go over here and shift click on the other one. Hold shift down and click on it. So I've got both of those selected. Now what I'm going to click and drag straight up so I move both those at the same time all the way up to the level of the bottom of the letters above. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start dragging and I'm gonna hold the shift button down so it stays straight and then it's gonna pop right into place there. And there I am, I've gotten rid of that tab completely. It's nice and clean. And then all I have to do is do that over on the other side for the other tab as well. Now let me show you the other way to do this. And this one's kind of a quick and dirty way that I learned how to do this a while back and I use it in a lot of other uh, scenarios as well. You can take a square, doesn't matter the color, just click on the rectangle tool, sorry, rectangle, not square, and go ahead and line up right with the bottom of the uh, the letters there and draw yourself out a rectangle that's aligned with the bottom of the letters above and just bigger than the tab. Okay, so I've got it right over the top of that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select both the tab and the letters above. I'm gonna go, go down here to Pathfinder and click minus front and that's gonna cut off whatever I drew the square the rectangle over. And that was really easy as well and you can do the same thing uh, for the other tab. So that's, first of all, how to get rid of the tabs if you just like to resize the words uh, or just print them just the way they are. So here's the next thing I want to show you how to do. If you would like to cut these out of a different thickness of material or if you'd like to resize these, I'll show you how to do that as well if you want to keep the base, that is. So let's say you choose to cut this out of, I don't know, maybe uh, medium uh, Glowforge hardwood or something like that, just something that's not the same thickness of what I used this uh, for. There's two things you need to do. Number one, you need to cut the tabs shorter so that they don't stick out the bottom of the base. So that's one thing. And uh, newsflash, that's gonna be exactly what we just did a minute ago, either uh, selecting the two nodes and pulling it up a little bit or cutting it off with a rectangle. So I won't repeat that because it's exactly the same thing. All you do is find out how thick your material is right here, and then cut the rest of it off so that it doesn't stick out the bottom. So that's really easy. Then the other thing you wanna do there is if you're gonna use a different size material, 
we're going to need to make these uh, rectangles or these slots more narrow or shorter. Now let me just be really specific. Don't touch the width of this at all. You just simply want to make them shorter or skinnier so that uh, they fit tightly with this tab that's coming down into them. Don't mess with this direction at all, just this direction. So you can, if you're an illustrator, you can right click on it and release compound path, or you can just double click and you'll get in here to where you can adjust this item isolated by itself. So let's do that. So now I've got this isolated and what I'm gonna to need to do is resize this height wise so that it's the right height for your material. So you're gonna grab your calipers, you're gonna measure your material. Do not go with the number that uh, the manufacturer said because it's almost never right. So measure it with your calipers and write that down, whatever it is. Let's say it's 0 0.12, 0 0.125, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. So here's something we know right away. If you make this slot an eighth of an inch tall, it's gonna be a little loose because the laser removes material when it cuts around, and that's called the kerf. And what it does is it cuts right down the middle of this line right here, and a little tiny bit on the top and a little tiny bit below gets removed. So it gets uh, looser or bigger than you actually expect. So if you think it's, if your material is 0.125, then I would start by making this slot maybe 0.12 instead of 125. And what I would do is you can go ahead and be hard-headed like me and go ahead and cut it without testing. But really the smartest thing to do is to select this slot. I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard. I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna paste it. And I'm gonna mess around with this slot. In fact, I'm gonna paste a couple of them here because what I wanna do is I'm gonna resize the height of this one and then resize the height of this one to slightly two slightly different sizes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two from the same material by themselves without the rest of this project and see which one fits better. And then I'm gonna bring that size back up into here and adjust this one. So for example, I would select this, go up here to transform. And instead of uh, the height, and don't touch the width, instead of the height being 221, let's say we're gonna do 12 is what we said we're gonna do. Try that. And I'll go to the other one and uh, just for kicks, let's go, instead of one, two, maybe uh, one, one, five. Let's try that, okay? So those are both very similar. Then take these two items and go cut them on your Glowforge out of the same material. And then what you can do is you can just take the corner of uh, another piece of material that's the same and just push it through these holes and see how tight they are. You don't have to actually have some official thing cut. You can just test it that way. And you can just keep experimenting with these until you get it right. And then go back up here and adjust this guy to whatever size you end up having for uh, the best fit. And then you go down with that one too. Uh, but that's how you adjust the slots to accommodate different materials. So hopefully that helped you understand how to make different adjustments to a file like this. And as you can probably see, you can take a lot of these same principles and use that for a lot of different other files as well. Once you learn how to do this, tabs and slots are so common in uh, laser design. So it's really important that you learn how to do that and get comfortable with it. I'm gonna to try to follow this up uh, in the future with some uh, the same videos using things like Inkscape or Affinity Designer. But hopefully until then, these principles will be ones you'll be able to pick up and use no matter what uh, application you're using currently. Thank you again for buying these sets. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up over at my Facebook page at Big Blue Laser Designs or you can hit the uh, messenger icon in the bottom of the website anywhere at bigbluelaserdesigns.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.